try to follow Woody Hayes' philosophy that you pay forward in this world. You don't wait till you die and leave your money. And if you've got anything to give, you do it forward. Help people. It was always abundantly clear that this team would make a mark in the philanthropic community because we could and because of the unique resources, because of that wonderful interaction between players and fans and doing good in the community. And as you know, any player that passes through or any coach, um, they know when they sign up what that means, that they will be part of this community beyond the ice. And that was made really clear uh, very early on in the franchise's history. It was clear how important this was to the organization and the players. I think Tyler Wright is a great name because you know, you could tell how much it meant to Tyler. And, and when you see a teammate uh, be a part of an organization and, and lead the charge, it was easy to follow. I was a young guy coming from Pittsburgh um, into a new organization. Um, you know, obviously the, the Blue Jackets were an expansion team and everything was kind of new. And, and I knew I wanted to do something um, to help out the community and, and give back. And, and really, those, those are the defining moments of, of my career and, and in, in my lifetime. And I'm extremely proud of that. And you're impacting people's lives, and that's a good thing. I also think there was a, an important history with the McConnell family and children's. They recognized it as an incredible asset in this community. And so Children's Hospital has certainly made a name for itself in the area of pediatric cancer. We knew that the team would be intimately involved and have relationships with patients beyond the scheduled visits. And that has certainly happened. Without cameras, um, these players over the years have established strong ties with families and patients. And that has carried on beyond maybe that first visit. So what I remember most vividly of the whole experience is really my parents and just kind of watching them go through it and you know, not being really old enough to fully realize what was going on, but knowing that something serious was going on and just all my family members coming in to visit me and you're kind of like, what's happening? But, you know, you sense that something very heavy and serious is happening. Our first event with Hats for Heroes, I think might have been their actually first event ever was the Quarter Horse Congress. And that's where we met Tyler Wright and Ray Whitney and Jody Shelley and I mean, you just feel so special being being able to be a part of that and being able to, you know, ride the Zamboni and and in fourth grade, you know, I'm telling all my friends like, you know, I know this hockey player, Tyler Wright, and they're like, you know, they know them as the hockey players and to us, they were, you know, just these guys who were so nice to us and, you know, they didn't really believe me. So he actually came for a show and tell in fourth grade um, to prove that I actually knew Tyler Wright. So. You know, you just, you don't ever think about, you know, this is what I'm going to do today. You know, it was a weird request and I'm like, why not? You know what I mean? Like it's, you, you know I mean? I think she lived about an hour, 45 minutes outside of town, yeah. go down there. I think Wendy and I went down there and you know, it was, it was show and tell, but that's, that's what she wanted. Um, and so that's when I went, I went and, you know, I, I became her friend. You know, professional athletes are a different breed, right? Like, you know, I've worked with some football players and some baseball players, and my favorite continues to be the hockey players. They just bring such humility and they get down on their knees, they get down close to the kids and get on their level. You know, no kid wants to be at the hospital, uh, but when they are, if we can make it as as fun and inviting as possible. And that, that's exactly what the team does when they come. Those were all really important things. But I think the thing that really set us apart was in talking to children about our desire to deepen that relationship. They had done some really good work around what families needed when they were at the hospital. And while they certainly had um, the hug that you get from children's in terms of all of the services they offer, there was something that was kind of missing and that was identified as a family place, almost like a, a family room, a living room that a family could maybe have other sibs, maybe go down and watch TV for a little bit together, do some laundry, order a pizza, 
and you know that was really the the beginning uh, conversation around the family resource center most of these family resource centers are in like what you would consider like a broom closet or a mm -hmm. coat closet where and it's just you know a lot of pamphlets a lot of information we knew that the foundation the blue jackets foundation wanted to help we had this idea it all kind of magically happened at the same time and we were able to create a family resource center that is unlike any other in the country i mean 5000 square feet dedicated to that is a really big testament to how Nationwide Children's provides care for the whole family. Reaction of the doctors and the nurses, and of course the patients, it was uh, it was very exciting, you know, and, and I think that, you know, there's a lot of us that think about the kids that go in there and the families that go in there, uh, you know, just we just think of the hospital room, but the dynamic throughout the day or a week or a month or a year, uh, there's a lot of time spent there and, and I think it opened our, the eyes of us as players what the organization did exactly. And it was really special to be there to see uh, them cut the ribbon and for Stinger to be there, of course, and all the Blue Jackets colors. And then it was nice to be a part of something refreshing for the families. And when you get here as a Blue Jacket, I think it comes down from the McConnell family. You see what their, their influence in this city is. You know, you see the name everywhere, McConnell Heart Institute. I mean, he's everywhere. And, uh, and I think you realize the importance that that, that plays in this organization, how giving back and, and becoming part of that is, is so crucial. And so uh, it's something as an organization that's been ingrained in guys. You know, when you get here, you realize how important it is to give back. It was clear how important this was to the organization and the players with it. And it was clear that it was up to us to take it to another level and, and you know, make sure this was something that was going to last. And that's something they've done very well. Two great guys you brought up, I mean, Nick Foligno and Tyler Wright, they're more than just Blue Jackets. They're more than, than current players and alumni. They're a part of a legacy that's uh, been started with Tyler Wright and, and that group, I think, carried through by the middle group. And here, Nick Foligno has taken it to another level. They gave me a chance to have a family. And to, to me, that's the, the greatest gift I could ever get, have been given. Um, and, you know, we don't, we don't take that for granted one second of any day. You know, we talk about hard times for us right now, not knowing when the season's going to start. Uh, I've been on the other side when you don't know if your, your daughter or son is going to come out of that hospital. And, uh, and to be able to inspire and, and, and have that feel-good moment where you're not thinking about being sick or, or what you're up against. And, you know, it, it's so special the relationship we have as, as an organization to go in there and what they've done in that hospital too. When you walk in, it doesn't feel like a hospital. You know, I love that. I love that they've made it a place where kids can feel comfortable and, and they're going there to get better. You know, it's not a place where it's, it feels like, oh no, there's a lot of, you know, problems in here. It's, it's, it, it's, a, it's an uplifting place. It's bright and, um, and you feel that when you leave there. So back when I was going through treatments, you know, of course I'm a five and six year old and I'm like, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a nurse. Um, and as I got older, I realized, I, you know, I'm just not cut out for that. <laughs> um, I wanted to be, you know, I was very interested in science and biology in high school. And then when I went to undergrad is when I really realized that I could do something with all of my interests and in research. We do Ewing sarcoma, which is a pediatric bone cancer. Um, I actually broke the ground for the research building that I'm in now, back when I was going through treatment at Children's. So definitely every day I think about it when I walk into that building. And some things, you know, you're a part of and they fade away and they've, they've kind of ran their course. And this is something that uh, in this community, Nationwide Children's Hospital has affected and helped so many families and, and has been a part of so many people all over the world. And uh, I think that the Blue Jackets and, and the players in the organization who have understood the connection with that specific cause, it's pretty awesome to be, uh, you know, a part of something that started early with the franchise, but is still going and still being just as impactful or even more impactful now.